Hello, my producer, and welcome to Friday. Sunny and sentimental is my prediction today for the producers of the Zodiac, the Tauri. The moon is in Scorpio, your opposite sign, putting emotional focus on your partnerships and marriages for another 24 hours. So you're emotionally sentimental. And this is an excellent time to invest in your relationships. And if you find yourself to be a single person, remember, the most important marriage on the planet is to yourself. You must treat yourself the way you want to be treated. So for those of you who are out there single, wanting to draw on Mr. or Miss Wright, start with yourself. Treat yourself the way you expect your husband or wife to treat you in the future. As we're on the sun, Venus is ruling the day. So I think Taurus is feeling very divine today. We're in chapter two of Sun in, uh, in Sun and Gemini, excuse me. And chapter two with Venus ruling the day is kind of that in between no man's land. On the one hand, the Venus energy is great for healing. So if you're still harboring issues of self-esteem or you don't feel good enough or you're feeling bad about not having a good report card in life, so to speak, or not performing at some time in your life, you must heal over that, Taurus. You can't create new great things if you're still feeling bad about what you didn't create in the past. So take advantage of the Venus creation and send love your way. Say to yourself, you know what, Chris? I forgive you for being a schmuck in college. I forgive you for all that time. I forgive. I'm just going to love you. You were perfect that time. So heal that. Get rid of that baggage. It's only going to sabotage your light casting. If you've done that work, and you don't have that kind of baggage, we'll take the Venus energy and create new soul capital. This is where you expand your work. This is where you get more productive. This is where you create cool, sparkly things. So invest in yourself. If nothing else, go give yourself a spa treatment or a massage and really honor and love yourself with the Venus energy. You'll find by loving yourself, you feel more empowered and you certainly are more magical to light cast. Now zipping around to this weekend, it's gonna be an intense one, Taurus. The moon will be full in Sagittarius on Sunday. Now, the moon will be full in the house of sex, death, and taxes for Tauruses. So I'm expecting you to have a full emotion, that's the moon, really wanting intimacy, really wanting to not feel like you are in an unsafe environment. So if you've been feeling unsafe, it might really amplify. Really wanting your control over life, boundaries, sex, death, and taxes. And I say death as well. So if someone's recently reincarnated out of your life, you might find yourself really mourning and letting go. And that's what the full moon is all about. The full moon is about letting go. In fact, we always recommend a light cast ceremony on the full moon. It's a releasing ceremony because what's actually happening is the moon is pulling on the sun and tearing away parts of the sun or our awareness that we no longer need. So these could be just what I said, issues of soul capital, issues of money, issues of fear around your self-esteem, issues around fear around your productivity. You must let go and release those issues. And with the moon full in Sagittarius, you wanting to have actually be connected, you wanting to feel safe, you wanting to have comfort zone with good boundaries is actually going to lead to you seeing where you're not producing correctly. All right, so just be careful. Also, I must say a full moon in Sagittarius is kind of a dangerous zone for you. So don't skydive. Don't put your life at risk. Don't drink too much. Just be careful Sunday night. This is one of those times in astrology where it could lead to hopping off the planet. So be careful, Taurus. All right, that's all I have for the weekend forecast. See you folks on Monday with more. Live, love, be.